Google really needs to figure out how its foldable can be different. The Pixel Fold is almost certainly going to run on the Tensor G2 chipset. That's a very important part of the hardware of the upcoming foldable phone, since it's responsible for powering everything you do on the device, but also for the overall efficiency and battery life. Sadly though efficiency and battery endurance have proven to be one of the biggest challenges for foldable phones, and my experience of using the Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 with the G2 Tensor chip hasn't been exactly stellar when it comes to efficiency. Google Pixel Fold looks very similar to the Pixel 7's with that iconic camera visor, however on the Pixel Fold this is way more flat, so the camera module doesn't actually go into the frame like it does on the Pixel 7's, but it is simply just floating there and a more rectangular shape. And it looks like the Pixel Fold is also considerably wider compared to something like the Galaxy Z Fold 4. John Prosser's render shows three rear camera instead of two like some expected. The Pixel Fold is said to feature two 9.5 megapixel front-facing cameras, which should be able to record 4K videos. We still don't know if the Pixel Fold will be using the same 50 megapixel Samsung sensor from the Pixel 7, or a smaller Sony sensor, which is rumored to arrive with a Pixel 7a, and as for the pricing, this is where I think Google should really reconsider their decision. John Prosser is pretty convinced that the Pixel Fold will start at $1799, which has got to be the brightest red light when it comes to the Pixel Fold and its overall appeal. The phone that opens up like a book to reveal a tablet-sized screen inside and the flip phone style approach where you open the phone vertically to get to an elongated display. From the sound of Pixel Fold rumors it appears that Google is taking the first approach. But the open book approach is a solid one that delivers the extra screen real estate that makes foldable phones a compelling option. The problem arises when the design is too much like the Galaxy Z Fold's look, and recent rumors are doing little to ease that concern. For instance the internal Pixel Full Display is rumored to be a 7.6-inch panel. You normally, the one on the Galaxy Z Fold the Pixel's external panel, is rumored to be more compact than the 6.2-inch outer screen on Samsung's phone. Perhaps subsequent rumors will spell out bigger differences between the Pixel Fold and the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So, with that been said, let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe, peace out.